Within the Topaz Workbench, one of the easiest ways to be able to download files from the mainframe to your own file system is to actually create a project. So here we're in Host Explorer, so I see the Host Explorer tab. We click on the Project Explorer tab. And let's just do a right click and create a new project. So projects are ways to organize um, some of your work also, so I can put in all the JCL and the source code and the data files that go with a particular project. And I can keep those on the mainframe, or in this case, let's create a copy of our mainframe project. We'll say next here. We'll give it a name. So let's call this one my local work, um, my local project. So I'm going to store it locally on my machine. Oop, I already have one with that name, so we'll give it another name. Notice I can use the default location, which is going to put it here at this um, file location, or I could select my own. And where is this data coming from? I'll just let it know which LPAR I'm downloading from. And the project type, online, keep the resources on the mainframe if I just want to organize my work in a logical manner within a project, or you can download the resources to work offline. Other, in other words, download it to your own file system. So we'll click finish here. And now I have my local project. So if I were to go back into my host explorer and say that I wanted to put some of my source code over to that particular project. So we'll select a couple of these. And a right click and add to project. So here I'm going to select which project to add those to and click finish. So now it's downloading those resources to that particular file system where we had it, where we designated and left it at the defaults. So again, a quick and easy way to be able to download things from the mainframe to your own file system. You just create a local project and add anything you want into that particular project. So here again, if we wanted to take a look at that project, here's my local project too, and brought over everything within that PDS that I had selected. So the three different members are there, and then they're on my machine, and I can open them up with anything, say, for instance, notepad. And now I've got this on my local system to be able to use. Now keep in mind that's just for downloading um, things to your system. You can also export things very quickly and easily. So if you're working um, with data files, right, notice that if you're in the file link data editor, Notice this little icon on the top right, export data. And you will see that particular icon um, throughout the Topaz Workbench. Say for example, um, I'm in program analysis and I'm working with my program structure chart and I want to download or export that. Or maybe my logic flow, again, that export icon is available to us. And in this case, you could export it in to a PDF, a Visio, or um, an image. So just wanted to throw that out there too and point that out. So look for those little export icons, whether you're working with data or graphics um, throughout the Topaz Workbench. Okay, thank you.